Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I am going to talk about adding legends to the angular charts of Syncfusion. The legends in general helps you to describe the chart data more clearly and make you to easily understand them. Say for example, in this column chart, you can see multiple categorized data points for each value on the x-axis. In this case, you will need to differentiate those multiple x values with a unique color and name. So here, you can see in this chart example that shows a legend explaining the colors assigned to different metals like gold, silver and bronze. So now, in this video, I am going to show you how to add a legends to the angular charts of Syncfusion for displaying the information about multiple series in the chart. And also, I can customize the legend with the other built-in options like legend position, alignment, legend shape and legend size. Now, let's see how to write code to add a legend to the chart using my existing application. As I have already explained about how to add a simple angular chart of Syncfusion to the angular application, please listen to my getting started video to know the basic steps and you can also find its reference link in the description part below. First, let me open my existing application and here I am going to work with the column series chart. So, I will open the app module file and import the column series service and category service from Syncfusion EJ2 Angular Charts package and inject the same within the providers section to start using the column chart with the categorized axis. Ok, now let me open the app component HTML file. Here, to have better clarity, I am removing the existing chart properties that are defined during the getting started part and simply retain the single series chart code with a single e-series tag. Now, I am planning to display the chart with three kinds of medals worn by each country on the x-axis. Therefore, I am going to add two more series to the chart code by defining the individual e-series tag. And also, set its series type as column for those series as I am going to depict them all in a single column series chart. Now, let me start populating the data for chart. So, I am opening the app component class and to populate the data, I need to declare a variable data and assign this Olympic Games data with multiple data points on y-axis for single x-axis value. So, here the country names is assigned to the x-axis of all the three series and the irrelevant gold medals count to the y-axis of the first series, silver medals count to the y-axis of another series and bronze medals count to the y-axis of third series. Now, let me bind this data object to the data source property of the chart. Also, I will map this data source fields country to the x name property of all the three series and gold field to the y name property of the first series, silver field to the y name property of the second series and bronze field to the y name property of third series. The next thing is, I need to set title for the chart. So, let me declare a variable chart title and set its value as Olympic medals to convey what the chart data is illustrating. Now, I will bind this chart title to the title property of the chart. Ok, the basic settings to display the column chart with multiple series is done now. And the next important step here is, I need to define the value type as category for the x-axis to display the x-axis with country names instead of default numeric intervals. So, within the app component class, I need to declare a variable x-axis and set the value type property as category to it. And set the appropriate title for x-axis as countries within the x-axis object. And for y-axis, I need to declare a variable y-axis and set its title as medals. Here, I am going to bind these variables to the appropriate chart properties like primary x-axis and primary y-axis. So here, you can view the multiple column series chart with the categorized data on x-axis and the main title being displayed as Olympic medals. I have also set the titles for x-axis as countries and y-axis as medals. Ok, now I am going to show you how to add legend on the chart. Within the app module file, I need to import the legend service from Syncfusion EJ2 Angular Charts package and inject the same within the providers section as well. Next, to enable the legend, let me open the app component class and here I need to declare a variable legend and set its visible option as true. Now, let me bind this object to the legend settings property of the chart. And also, I need to set series name for all the three series to show it as a label for those legend items. 
So here you can view the chart output which shows the information about the series. Alright, now let me show you how to customize the legend settings using its properties. If I want to change the position of the legend either to the left, right, top or bottom of the chart graph then I may need to make use of the position property. Here by default the legend is positioned at the bottom of the chart. So now let me show you how to position the legend at the left. Now I will open the app component class and within the legend object I will define the position option as left. As I have already mapped this legend object to the legend settings property of the chart. Now you can view the chart output which shows the legend at left side of the chart. Here you can also position the legend anywhere in the chart by specifying the x and y coordinates value inside the location property. Ok now I am going to fine tune the position of the legend. For that let me use the alignment property with which I can align them vertically either to the center, far or near. Here the default alignment of the legend is center. So now I will align the legend at top by defining the alignment property as near within the legend object. When you look at the chart output you can able to see the legend getting aligned at top of the chart. In this chart output you can see that all the series has the same legend icons. So to create a visual variation I need to make use of the legend shape option to set the different shapes for each series. Here the default legend icon shapes is based on its series type but the legend also supports many other shapes like circle, rectangle, triangle, diamond, series types, cross, horizontal line, vertical line, pentagon and inverted triangle. Also. You can customize the height and width of these legend items using the shape width and shape height properties. Within the app component html file, I am going to set the legend shape as circle for the first series, rectangle for second series and triangle for third series. Now let me open the app component class and define the properties shape width and shape height with the custom values inside the legend object. And now you can view the chart output which displays the legend items gold, silver and bronze with the different icon shapes along with the changed height and width. Here by default you can collapse the series visibility of the chart by clicking on them. Instead of collapsing if you want to highlight the selected series then you may need to disable the toggle visibility option. So to disable the toggle visibility option let me open the app component class and set its toggle visibility as false. And then I need to select a series on legend. So within the app module file I need to import the selection service from Synfusion EJ2 Angular Charts package and inject the same within the provider section as well. And then within the app component html file I need to set the selection mode as point. Look at the chart output while clicking the legend of the series gold it will be highlighting the respective series on the chart. Here the chart displays the information about all the three series defined in the chart's data source. So if I want to skip a single legend say for example I don't want to display the silver series on the legend then I may need to set the series name as empty for that series. So within the app component html file I will set the series name as empty for the silver series. And now you can view the chart output which shows the legend only for the two series gold and bronze. By default the legend takes 20 to 25 percentage of the chart's height when it is placed on the top or bottom position and 20 to 25 percentage of the chart's width when placed at the left or right side of the chart. So to change the default legend size I may need to make use of the width and height properties. Let me open the app component class. I need to define the properties width and height with the custom values inside the legend object. So now you can see the chart output which displays the legend with custom size. Ok now let me show you how to animate the chart. For this I need to set the enable animation property as true within the app component html file. Now when you look at the chart output you can notice the animation effects on the chart. Alright finally let me summarize some of the main points discussed in this session. We have discussed about how to show the legend for multiple chart series and also we have discussed how to customize the legend position, alignment, legend shape, legend size options and so on. And finally we have also seen how to animate the chart. If you find this video as useful then give a like and subscribe to our channel as well. Thanks again for watching this video.